Happy anniversary, anniversary Bob I think Bob and Judy have been an inspiration to us all. And yeah. They've accomplished so much in 50 years and a great lesson for us all. Congratulations, Bob and Judy. I wish them many more happy years. Good times with Grant. I'm busy. Hello, congratulations, Bob and Judy. That's what I'm looking for. Many years. Congratulations. Good work. Effortless. Seemed like. Absolutely. Congratulations, Bob and Judy. 50 years. Amazing. You know, Chief, we're 44. Um, yes. Congratulations, Bob and Judy. Hello. Happy anniversary, Bob and Judy. Congratulations. <laughs> I say the same thing. Congratulations. Happy anniversary, Bob and Judy. Happy anniversary, Bob and Judy. Happy anniversary. Right. It's always funny. Right. And then that's almost an easier one because then you see it in the kids. This is an electo savage day. And I think they can get along with that. It's the ones where, hey, let's just get up and move and go someplace else. Well, you know, I've been moving right back here. And my kids have been up here. My kids have grown up here. They've grown up in the blue. Yeah. So this is where we come to see my family. We go out in the lake. Um, they have a lot, a lot of our friends are still around here and stuff. So I think it'd be a pretty good transition. Oh yeah, if you land in right back here. Right, because that yeah. was all. Oh. Out there. Just all, just farm. And uh, all the way out to the... Wow. Look at this. The flowers on the cake match the flowers on the table. Lovely. Really? Well, nice work. That makes quite a pretty picture. Look at the cards. Yeah. That's how long ago that was. <laughs> no, I thought we should have all dressed 60s tonight with like guys with rectangular glasses and Might girls be with little... beehives. <laughs> Might be a little warm. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Oh, yum. Tenderloin. Yum. Hydrology and limnology. Jeffrey interfered with the old man or something. Yeah. So, what did your friends think about? I don't know. Well, they all met him at the same time I did. Because we were all good friends. Thetas, mainly. And, uh, yeah. They they thought he was pretty interesting. And they were kind of shocked that they were going to get married so fast. So they didn't have to say don't marry him? No. No. But I remember one time um, uh, one of our Bob's good friends, everybody's friend, Larry Sullivan. He was a Dicky Town character. And going to school, but Bob has many funny stories about Larry Sullivan. But we, I, Julie and I were asking Larry one day about Bob. You know, well, what, what, what can you really tell us about Bob? And he said, well, you know, Bob's a good guy, but... And then all of a sudden something happened, so we never heard after the but. <laughs> we both went, what do you know what no, but? <laughs> I remember Julie and I talking. Well, do you think they should get married? Yeah. So how about the proposal? I remember that. What was that like? I remember we were in the car and he said, uh, "Will you marry me? I'd like, and then I would like to have lots of Vikings." Meeting boys. <laughs> no way. Yeah. He didn't give me a chance to respond to the first part. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said, we have lots of bikes. Let's have lots of bikes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Bob the uh, Romance. Did you expect, <laughs> yeah, right. did you expect him then to propose to you, or was that a surprise? Yeah. I kind of expected you it. You did expect it, so you already prepared with an answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. so how soon was that? Three months. Three months? Holy yeah. buckets. Well, he had a job at the Star and Tribune yeah. as a reporter, and then the Star and Tribune was nice striking. Thing. So then he had, this is right after we got married. So here we are without a job. So he had to sell his motorcycle so we could buy a car. And then we found a place to rent downtown on LaSalle. Going back to the proposal, what was the uh, phone call like to your mom? Oh, uh, or did you drive there? They had met him. Yeah, they were a little surprised. I was carrying my boots. I thought you lived on the raft your first. A uh, houseboat. Houseboat. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, call it a houseboat. <laughs> you never Me saw by it. Bob. That yeah. was a minute ago, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Judy, where's your wedding dress? Upstairs in the hey. loft. So back to uh, Grandma Doris's reaction. What did she have to say? Oh my God. With the motorcycle, and my parents just hated that. Yeah. And then we took them on the houseboat, and they're. There's the gas we tank, and then there's the motor, and they said not thought, oh my god, the whole thing's going to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> and his lab was really old, and he's really sorry, and he was back then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really <old. laughs> Well, wow. it's a great story. How about when you found out you were pregnant, you freaked out? That was planned. Yeah. It was. We said, you know, I was bored because I couldn't get a job doing anything with my heart, so I worked at the Herald cooling store. The then we had a sign over the bed in the houseboats where we were living on Chinese calligraphy. And the translation was, it's a, may this bed bring one to 1,000 sons. And I forgot to take it down for five years. I'll still be eating goat meat. Here we are with four boys. Yeah. The first two, uh, Rob and Rich, were uh, Irish twins. It needs to be a year apart. So then I just couldn't keep my hands off her. <laughs> well, so you look at the pictures, and you can see why. Can't blame me. <laughs> nice spread. What do you think? Delicious. Very nice. Good beef. Good enough. <clears throat> I vividly remember uh, Mom's parents' 50th wedding anniversary. What were their names? Uh, Harlan Olson and Doris Olson. Yep. But I remember us little boys being at that party. Yep. A uh, nice summer night in the backyard. Yeah. And uh, what I quite honestly remember most vividly compared to this event is they looked older they looked a lot older <laughs> i don't know if it was meat and potatoes